Hello everybody, Daryl with Trophy Seekers Outdoors. Today we're going to do something different than we normally do. Usually we do fishing videos, but today we're going to do a lead sinker making video. We're going to be making sinkers uh, out of molds. I fish, this is a 5 ounce, but I fish with a 6 ounce, what they call a river sinker. Uh, a lot of people fish with what's called a pyramid sinker, uh, which is just a pyramid. This is a 4 ounce. And we're going to be making those also. So uh, get ready, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to make some sinkers. All right, so guys, today uh, the different things we're going to need, and we're going to try to keep these tight, uh, tight close-up shots just because where you can see what's going on. Uh, one thing we're going to use is some oil. And when these molds heat up, the they, they tend to have the sinkers stick, stick inside of them and they're a little bit hard to get out. So I'll, I'll throw some oil in there once they get heated up and hard to get out to help get them out. So that's one thing you need. Uh, we'll need some needle nose pliers because the eyelets that go in there, when these things get hot, even though I'll have gloves on, you'll want to take and put these eyelets in with these needle nose pliers where they hold in just like that. So that's another thing we need. We'll have eyelets, which go inside the sinkers. Uh, we'll have some cutters, because we'll have to cut the lead on some of them on the bottom where it overflows. Uh, and then we'll have, this is a Lee's Pro uh, vat that we use to heat the lead up. And uh, we'll use it to be able to put the stuff in here or to get the lead out with. Uh, bear with me guys, that's a lot of this. I'm not an expert, don't claim to be, I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, so, got a piece of lead already dripped out. And what we'll do, we'll drop that back in there. And uh, Woody, if you can bring the camera over this way, I want to show them down inside the vat here of what we have to do to clean it out. Guys, if y'all just hang with us, I, there's just things I like for people to be able to see. If you can look down in there, there's a skim on top of it. And, uh, I'm going to skim this. You want to clean all the bad out of it. And even though we do ingots, as you see, there's some stuff. We'll get that cleaned out. We'll clean it until we get, I'd say, 99% of it. You know, if I was doing something a lot more important than lead sinkers like uh, muzzleloader bullets, I mean, I would clean and clean and make sure it was perfect. But with with lead sinkers, I don't think the catfish really care a whole lot about whether that stuff's clean or not. And uh, this is this is something that we've already poured up, cleaned it, and we'll put that in there and it'll melt down. Uh, and I've got a small piece. Let me grab a small piece real quick. A buddy of mine gave me. This is a half, looks like a half pound here. And what we'll do, we just drop it down in there and as we're doing it, as the vat gets a little bit low, we'll drop some down in there. You can probably see it bubbling there. And you can see what's bad come to the top. And we'll just clean that right off. Just clean it off. And that's, that's what we skim off of there. There's a name for that, and I don't remember it. And you know what? I guess it don't really matter whether I can remember it or not, as long as I do it. That's the way I look at it. Uh, I don't remember names real good. I just know that that's what I've got to do to have some good clean sinkers. So now we're going to get reset up with the camera, get a different angle, and we're going to show you how once we get, well, let me go ahead and put the eyelets in here. This is four and, or five and six inch river sinkers. And I'm just going to put them in there. And it's not hot right now. Once it gets hot, I'll put some gloves on. But we're just going to put them in there, put them kindly straight like that. We'll close this up and we'll pour in this end right here. So we're gonna reset the angle back up and show you how that's done. All right guys, so we, we've got another shot here because where I feel that's gonna be underneath the pot here. I've got the two eyelets inside there. We're gonna close it up. And what I'm gonna do is get down here where I can see, get up underneath here. This little handle is what lets the lead come out. I'm gonna leave this low. Normally I'll bring it higher but I'm gonna leave it low where you can see it spilling off and going down into the mold. We just hold up the little handle there, fill it up, 
because we see it go out the top and shut it back down. What's going out the top is not going to matter because we're going to cut that off and put it right back in the pot. So now we're going to do the next one, same way. Just open it up, pour it up, and there we go. You can see we filled it all, fill that mold all the way up to the top. You want to make sure that you come out the top. Don't worry about a little bit dropping in or out. I mean, we even get a little spillage down on the plate here. We just drop it back in there. Same thing with here. There's really no waste when you're making lead sinkers unless you just let it cool off and don't get the eyelet. But we still, even you can dump it in there and get the eyelets out later. So we'll open it back up. This one fell right out, as you can see. And, uh, and it makes a nice, let me lay this down, get it a little better. Makes a really nice river sinker. That's a five ounce with the eyelet. You can see the bottom's just a little bit, little small piece of lead left on the bottom there. We'll just take the cutter, cut that and smooth it right off like that right there. Set it over here to dry. Uh, I'll grab this little piece right here. Get that out. I can grab it up with my gloves right there. Make sure you use gloves. Gloves is, uh, man, you'll get burnt really quick if you don't use gloves. Here's the six ounce. It comes right out. Once again, I'm gonna grab it. Six, so you, I don't know if you can see the six on there for six ounce. We're just gonna take, cut that, put it up here, just drop it right in there. There's the six ounce. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to spray this. It's not hot enough to yet, but all you got to do is just spray both sides with this oil, just a small amount. And uh, some people say that it causes to leave wrinkles. Uh, I told them I didn't think the, that the catfish cared if it had wrinkles in a piece of lead or not. <laughs> yeah, like I say, there's some things that's uh, probably a lot more important that you don't want to leave stuff like that. Like I say, if you're making muzzleloader balls or something like that, but on this, it's not. Uh, you wanna go back in there, just because it's been a while setting up, because doing different shots, I'm gonna clean the lead again. One more time out of the top. And we're just gonna repeat. We'll show you one more time, and then we'll go to the uh, other sinkers that we're gonna be making. But once it gets hot, you for sure wanna use some needle nose pliers. Stick that right down in there. And most of the time you can use your thumb to mash that in there before it gets you too hot. I can. Uh, or, you know, everybody's got different ways, but I just stick it in there and shove it. Uh, not like that. <laughs> hey, bloopers! But anyway, we're gonna shove it right in there. Once again, we've got those right in there. Close it up. We're ready again. I'd say I'm just going to spill it everywhere. There we go. And like I say, it doesn't matter if you make a little mess. It'll all come loose. That one good thing about lead is that it, it doesn't stick to stuff very much. And there you go. It spilled out everywhere. Another thing, guys, make sure you're in a vented area. You don't want to start breathing in this lead. Or, I don't know if you can see it or not, if it's showing on camera, but there's smoke coming off from that oil I put in there, and it'll do that for a couple of rounds. But you don't, I'm sitting in my shop, and you probably see in the video light, the sun out there, and that wind's carrying this out. So you don't want to be over this stuff breathing it a lot. So make sure of that. And I'm going to show you what I was talking about. I got this opened up. Let me turn it around this way. With the wrinkles. Let's grab it like this. And I'm trying to do this where it's camera friendly, where you guys can see. Uh, there we go. You can see the, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not. Uh, Woody's running the camera for me. Uh, not that he's doing it wrong or anything, but these wrinkled a little bit, and that's from putting the oil in there. And like I say, it doesn't do a difference with the weight. I've checked it. Uh, it just gives it a little wrinkled up look there. And like I said, I bet you them catfish could care less about that. Uh, once again, we're going to take, cut that off. Perfect. That's a 
five ounce, perfect five ounce sinker. Rivers coin sinker. I call them coin sinkers. The actual name is river sinker. Looks like a coin to me. So. All right, once again, we're gonna grab this one. This is a six ounce. Cut that off. There you are, six ounce left. Uh, we'll go to the pyramid now. I'm gonna put this lead right back down inside. Boom. We'll close this one up because we got a lot of these to make. We won't do it while we're videoing. Uh, pyramid, once again, is like that. These are four ounce pyramid sinkers. Uh, we'll make three out of this mold, so we'll put three of the outlets in there. Uh, and guys, I say, I'm sure all this stuff has a proper name. But I'm just going to tell you, I can't remember my name half the time, much less the name of all this stuff here. So, y'all can put in the comments what a name of all this stuff is I'm messing up for sure. <laughs> uh, if you would, guys, do hit the subscribe button. Uh, like the video if you like it. Hit the little bell that'll notify you every time we come out with a new video. Uh, we've got several different type videos we've been coming out with. But once again, we just put the little eyelets in there. This one's not hot, so I could do it by hand. We've got three of them in there. This is going to make three. Once again, we're just going to come up underneath here. I'm going to go to my furthest one. Bring it open. Let it pour right in there. I'm watching it the whole time. And just cut it off. Once again, go to the second one. Boom. Shut it off. And the third one. Boom. Shut it right off. Now, the weight of the, of the uh, mold has become 12 ounces heavier, almost a pound heavier, and you can feel that too. All right, guys, that is a nice looking little deal there. These are a little harder to get out than the river sinkers, but they do come out just because the fill hole and the eyelet are on the same end. So it does make it just a little harder, but you can grab it by that piece of lead right there, and it'll come right out. Lay that right over there. We'll grab this. Actually, I want to grab this in the eyelet hole with the needle nose or drop it, whatever comes first. We're going to take come over here, cut the top off of that. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but it says four right there. That's a four ounce sinker. Pretty as you want. Shiny and ready to go. Get these others cleaned up right quick. Pop that right off. Comes out just perfect. One more time. There we go. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to go over everything we just did. These are, like I say, our pyramid 4 ounce. And they really come out nice. Here's the 6. We made some uh, that you probably didn't see me make in here. I don't remember. And then here's your 5s. These are the river sinkers. And uh, you say, well, why do you do that? It's a lot cheaper, guys. Uh, you can go around and find lead. You can go, if you got a scrap yard close to you, you can go there and buy lead for around 50 cents a pound, something like that. Uh, I've got a friend that actually owns a tire shop and he goes through lead all the time that he gets rid of. I can get it from him. Uh, I got a friend that actually gave me about 150 pounds of ingots that uh, he had. I mean, there's just, if you get out there and look, there's lead out there. And this, these sinkers get pricey. They really get pricey. So, you, you know, you can buy this for, I don't remember, it's around $60. It's a Lee Pro 4 20. Uh, it's 700 watts. Uh, and if you just plug it into a regular 110, heat this stuff up, and go at it. Uh, I use a separate pot whenever I'm doing my ingots, just because I can do more at a time. But you don't have to. You can take and melt it right down in here, clean it up with it, and pour it out with this. 
Uh, you can get a ladle and do it that way. I would suggest not to if you don't have if you if you don't have to if you've got like a uh, all you got to have is a cast iron skillet and say a fish fryer stand that has the heat the heater on it uh, and heat it up that way just because you know you got this element plus you got to clean this pot out real good and I don't clean this pot out very often just because I'm putting clean lead in here and it doesn't stop up so you don't want to stop everything up in this thing that's one thing but uh, I use, like I say, these are do it molds. Uh, you can get them for between $40 and $60. Uh, I've got several different ones. That's the pyramid. This is the river uh, sinkers. Uh, I've also got, this is the pyramid two ounce. If you want to make two ounce sinkers, if you don't need the heavier stuff, if you're not fishing the rivers, or if you're just fishing a uh, little current, or in the reservoirs. I also have one that does egg sinkers. It does egg sinkers all the way from three ounces uh, down to an eighth ounce sinker. And of course, instead of using the eyelets, you'll use this little rod here, put in there, close it up, and pour it. And then once you get through pouring it, you pull this out, and that leaves your hole in there and you take them out. So that's the way this one works. So. And that's for if you're fishing just a direct sinker on the line without a sinker slide, you can use it, Carolina rig or a Texas rig, whatever you want to do. But that's the different ways to do it. It's not hard. Guys, just be safe. This is hot. I mean, that lid is hot. If you poured it on yourself, it's going to burn to the bone. And make sure that it's in a really good air place, aired out place where, it, or either that, or even better yet, when I'm not filming this I've got the fans going on uh, you can turn the light over here you can see or the camera over this way Woody you can see I've got a big five foot fan right there that I use in this shop excuse the shop it's a shop guys but I use it to keep the wind blowing to keep these fins these fins will kill you okay so make sure you are in an aerated place just don't stand over it and make sure to be safe gloves that's essential you want to make sure that you get these gloves on for whenever, and you're going to do it. You're going to forget. You're going to grab one of these that's hot, thinking it's not, and through these gloves, you'll start feeling the burn for it burns you deep. If you don't have gloves on, it's going to burn you. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be doing more videos like that in the future. But until then, uh, we'll catch you on another fishing video. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Make sure you like, and make sure you ring that bell if you like what we're doing. To let you know when we got another video coming out. Till then, this is Daryl, Trophy Seekers Outdoors. We'll catch you later.